I'll be sitting here feeling a lot different. Um, transition defense too, um, off of makes too at times. Um, it's something we've talked about all year. Um, and I want to say it before I forget. I don't think I would though, uh, but I'll continue my sentence uh, it, because it was rocking in there. And, and I, I want to say on the front end, we struggled as of late. And um, I'm really appreciative to our fans that came and they were loud and they were a big factor. Um, and it shows the commitment to, to men's basketball here. Our administration's done a great job. I'm really appreciative. Our fans were awesome. Um, and we, we've got to continue at home to learn uh, that when you score, they can be as loud as they want. That's great. It, it, you can't jog back. This isn't high school basketball. Um, you can't look up in the crowd. I mean, we're not good enough to do that. Maybe some team, we're not good enough to do that. Uh, so on Monday, we'll continue to work on sprinting back and getting in a stance and getting matched up um, if we're going to be competitive on Wednesday. Yeah, Coach, I, I, I sense a little more frustration with you today and, and, and maybe a little bit on the sideline during the game. You, you, there's just some things that, do, that, that seem to really aggravate you. I mean, obviously, it's late in the game here and you've got a big ship you're trying to turn around. What's, yeah. what's, I mean, what's your message going forward and how do you feel about um, kind of what you've done to this point this year? Uh, we've got to guard a lot better. Um, we've got to make um, simpler decisions with the basketball. Um, we, we just did some stuff tonight that um, you can say out of character, but when you're saying that every, as, as often as we're saying it, that, it, that you know, unfortunately that, that's our character right now, that, um, um, Again, some of the live ball turnovers, some of the other turnovers, um, some of the ill-advised fouls, um, some of the just getting out of a stance and not understanding um, the screens coming and dying on screen and giving up a, a big three. Those those things add up, and you can't you can't win in, in this league. Um, unless you're more accountable than that, disciplined than that. And uh, you know, unfortunately, you know, throughout this losing streak, we spent a lot of time focused on those things. And um, we didn't see as much carryover as we'd like to see. I mean, we just gave up 88 at home. Uh, when um, I feel like in practice, we've gotten a lot better defensively here in the past couple of weeks. It's, it's just, uh, it's unfortunate. And this, you know, I, I'm sitting here for 10 minutes talking about us. Florida's an NCAA tournament team. They're really good. Um, they're doing a great job. They share it. They're long. They're skilled. They, they're incredible on the offensive glass. They got stops and forced turnovers when they needed to. Coach, we talked a lot about turnovers. Um, Russell at five today led the team. A lot of those kind of come in the high post. How do you make sure that he's able to protect the ball a little bit better and get it out of his hands? There? We're, we're going to work on the same things on on Monday. You know, he's got some reads. Um, but we make sometimes we make some emotional decisions um, as young people uh, to where you know I I know this is the action and and I know this is the read and I know these are my checks. Um, but I'm gonna call an audible and and. Some of us do that. Um, we it happens too often right now on this team. Um, it's been harped on a bunch, and a bunch, a bunch, and it'll continue to be harped on. Because um, at, at times offensively, you know, especially early in the game, we were really good and, and we were clicking, we were executing, we were sharing it, uh, and sometimes that ball sticks. Um, Again, it's it's maturity, it's understanding how to win, it's emotions, um, and I think it's some of the some of the same characteristics that, that we possess as a team. I say we, it's 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 all of us as a program. We, we, we've got to get past this. Uh, that lead to um, we had probably five or six fouls that like that. What are we that that's what are we doing here? That, um, 
uh, you can't win big SEC games with uh, some of the emotional decisions that we're, that we're making. Looked like you guys wanted to get Dylan in the game early. Did he get poked in the eye? He did. Or? He did. And other guys just got into a rhythm. And before you know, he's been over there for a while. And probably should have called his number in the second half uh, in retrospect. But uh, yeah, he's practiced really well lately. And we'll continue to try to get him um, experience. Coach, whether it was Silas or Ranella or Justin, it seemed like in the first half, you guys kind of got what you wanted in the paint and you were able to get into your actions and kind of get down here with the basket. Did you guys get away from that in the second half? What, what happened in the scoring drought? Um, I, again, I, you know, I think that um, it, the road team, um, when they can collect some some turnover and get out of transition and get some easy ones, it's just, uh, um, Generally speaking, guys, uh, sometimes that fuels you a little bit defensively. I thought Poland did a, a good job defensively uh, in the second half, staying in front of our guards. Um, but it, it, again, it's just you, you take 10, you, you can take some of the empty uh, possessions, you know, an open three, a good look, a free throw didn't go. We can't control all of that. And we're going to continue to preach here that um, you can win games despite that. Uh, but the, the other 10 possessions, um, the turnovers, um, easier to control some of those. So uh, you, you get six or seven of those back, you know, um, instead of 82, you, you probably got 90. Uh, you still gave up too many.